Welcome back. Here we are for another episode of Doug's RV Improvements. So this is my Nash 17K. It has a ducted air conditioning system. What that means is the air doesn't actually blow out through this vent. It's ducted through the ceiling. And there's one of the vents. I've actually pulled that vent off. There's another one I've pulled that off. Here's what it looks like with the vent installed. So the reason I pulled these others off was I was thinking about routing some wiring for another light fixture and I wanted to see how big or deep that ducting was. So in the process of poking around up in there I noticed that see there's a bunch of layers here. There's a layer of Luan plywood which makes up the ceiling panel. There's also a layer of styrofoam insulation and then there's this rigid foam ductwork. It's kind of a black foam and the foam of the ductwork had a big gap in it between the styrofoam and it. And then also the luan from the ceiling panel wasn't quite tight up against this piece of styrofoam. If I spin the camera around here, you can see that just a little bit better. The three different colors there. So what I've done here with all that ugly aluminum foil tape is secured all three layers together so when the air conditioning is running I'm not actually just blowing cold air up into the ceiling cavity. All of the air is going to come down through the vent. So I started out with some short pieces that secured the ductwork to this and then I went a step further and cut some narrow longer strips that wrap all the way up around come back down and cover this so the flange is actually wide enough where it's going to cover up all of the, the tape that I've installed there you can kind of see the flange is actually pretty big so I looked at the other two and neither of those had the problem that this one did Just line this up here. There is no proper orientation because this spins 360 degrees, so it doesn't matter how you orient the flange in relation to the screw holes as long as you just line the screw holes up. Start threading those in by hand. And you can either, either use a handheld screwdriver or a power drill. It's kind of tedious to work overhead with a hand screwdriver. So I've got my little 12 volt DeWalt power drill with the clutch set to the lowest setting. So that should definitely do a better job of blowing some more air down into the interior of the RV through this back vent as opposed to dumping some of that air into the ceiling cavity. <laughs> 